What's up my dudes? My name is Glacier and you are here at Underwater Math learning to identify relative sizes of measurement. Let's get started. As a reminder, we have customary and metric units. Customary units are things like miles, yards, feet, and inches. Miles are the longest, and inches are the shortest. For your reference, there are 12 inches in one foot, 3 feet in one yard, and 5,280 feet in one mile. You also have tons, pounds, and ounces for weight. A ton is like an elephant, and an ounce is like a pencil. Metric units have kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters for length. The prefix kilo means 1,000, so there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, 100 centimeters fit inside one meter, and 10 millimeters fit inside one centimeter. Kilometers are the longest, and millimeters are the shortest. For weight, we have kilograms, grams, and milligrams. One kilogram is about the weight of a pineapple, and one milligram is about the weight of a feather. I brought a few things to the beach with me, like this palm tree, boat, sandals, sand pail, and flamingo. The sand pail is about 4 kilograms. Which other object is about 4 kilograms? Remember 1 kilogram is about the weight of a pineapple. That's right, the flamingo. The flip-flops are too light, and the palm tree and boat are too heavy. Let's try another one. About how tall is a palm tree? 53 inches, 53 miles, 53 feet, or 53 yards? Inches are small, and trees are tall, so 53 inches doesn't make sense. One mile has 5,280 feet. That would be an extraordinarily tall tree. 53 feet is about the right height of a palm tree and is the correct answer. There are three feet in a yard, so 53 yards does not make sense either. This is my friend Petey the little seahorse. About how much does Petey weigh? One milligram is about the weight of a feather, so eight milligrams can't be right. Eight pounds is too heavy, and tons are even heavier than pounds. Eight ounces is the correct answer. Great work. Have fun practicing.